Since ancient days, many wanderers and heroes have fallen victim to the enchantress known as Circe the Deceiver. Trapped by the gods for centuries on her island prison, she lured the lost and adventurous to their deaths with her magical disguises. Circe the Deceiver is a ranged intelligence hero who focuses on confounding her enemies with manipulative abilities. Controlling the arts of deception and seduction, Circe can cause disarray amongst her enemies' ranks. Entrapment is Circe's first ability. When cast, she launches a dark projectile at a target location, dealing magic damage and ensnaring the first enemy hit. Once the root expires, entrapment may spread to another nearby enemy hero, damaging and ensnaring them as well. This ability can only jump once. Doppelganger, Circe's second ability, conjures up an illusion of a target hero and puts it under Circe's control. This ability will also slow the target if cast upon an enemy. Doppelganger's cooldown is much shorter than the duration of each replica, allowing Circe to amass a small legion of illusions. Deceive, Circe's third ability, causes her to immediately become invisible, leaving behind an illusion that will copy the most recent move order. The transition between going invisible and creating her illusion is seamless, allowing her to trick her enemies and escape easily. Circe's ultimate ability is Twisted Visage. Circe targets an enemy hero and begins channeling for two seconds. Once complete, Circe will assume the form of the targeted hero, retaining her current health and fully restoring her mana. Circe also gains all of the target's abilities and items, and may use them with fresh cooldowns. An enemy may only break the spell by moving out of range during Circe's initial channeling, or by interrupting it with spells and items. Deceive can be used both as an escape mechanism and as an initiation tool. Seeing that we are in against an aggressive offlane, I charge at the enemy Andromeda and use Deceive before entering comment range. Andromeda ends up using her stun on my illusion, which allows me to nail her with a quick entrapment and set up my lane mate with an easy hook. We make quick work of the cometless Andromeda and pick up first blood. While Doppelganger is great for pushing and slowing your enemies, it can also be used to bait enemy heroes. While dual laning mid, I took the high ground and cast Doppelganger on myself and sent it to attack creeps. The enemy devourer falls right into my trap, hooking the illusion, and I even got Engineer to use his keg as well. With the enemy abilities on cooldown, Raven or I go on the offensive and pick up two easy kills. Through great ward placement, I was able to see the enemy team looking for a gank on middle lane. I called out to my teammates to meet me in the jungle and I cast Deceive on Prisoner, Witch Slayer, and myself. Once I had an illusion of each hero, I sent them to the lane to stop the enemy push. The enemy Tempest saw a great opportunity and blinked in to catch all three heroes in an elemental void, and then Fade blinked in to follow up and finish us off. Once the enemies took the bait, my teammates rushed in, I cast Twisted Visage on the enemy Fade, and used her own abilities against her, landing a perfect Burning Shadows. Twisted Visage is an incredibly versatile spell, allowing you to become any enemy of your choosing. While pushing middle lane within an army of illusions, we engage on the enemy Tempest and dive the tower. Prisoner 945 and Sandwraith ended up chasing the Tempest a little too far and got caught in a well-placed elemental void. I quickly cast Twisted Visage on the enemy Magebane and used Mana Rift to destroy the Tempest and stop the ultimate. With Tempest destroyed, I auto-attack the Magmus and Fade down to get an easy triple kill. Using Prisoner's Shackled, we were able to lock down the enemy Magebane and secure the genocide. Circe can be played as a hard support, such as Glacius, or as a roaming support ganker like Andromeda. When I play Circe the Deceiver, my starting items are two wards, two minor totems, a health pot, runes of blight, and two mana potions. In the laning phase, I like to pick up Marchers and Ring of the Teacher. My core items are Astrolabe, Mana Ring, and Shrunken Head. If I ever find myself in a long game where I have money to spend, I will pick up Tablet of Command, Puzzle Box, and Sheep Stick as my luxury items. When playing Circe as a support, I take and max Entrapment first for the Immobilize and Damage. From there, I get one level of Deceive as an escape mechanism, a level in Doppelganger, and then Twisted Visage as 6. I max Doppelganger over Deceive because you often find yourself outleveled as a support, and being able to create a Legion of Illusions in the mid-game stage is great for pushing towers and teamfights. Thank you for watching another Heroes of New Earth Hero Spotlight featuring Circe the Deceiver. 